Which state do you want to cover first? Um, what's coming up first? Utah's due in a couple of days here. So I think if we want to cover that. I would like literally probably leave my truck with the bare minimum and just cover trailheads and country and find vantages and find the elk. Even if it took me four or five days, I'd be very non-committal. I would be doing what I call at my elk shape camps, just the tip type of elk hunting where we're not, <laughs> we're not going deep. We're just yeah. kind of like checking all the little and trying to find elk in a very yeah. vast area. Um, what they do, 84% of the tags go to residents and then 10% of the remaining 16% go into the guided pool. And if you catch it on a good year with a lot of weather and get some nice rain and moisture, the grass down there is actually some of the best nutrient grass in basically in the U S to grow one big antlers, but really good tasting elk meat. You need to look at it as they have their high demand hunts. They have their, and it says HD in the regs, HD high demand. They have their uh, quality hunts. There's a Q next to it. It's a quality hunt. It's not a high demand, but it's a quality um, Montana fishing game website. If you've never put in before, you're going to have to create an account. If you have put in before, you're going to need to know your ALS number, uh, you can, there's a, just type in ALS lookup in Google if you can't, and they have a little quick way for you to figure that out. Okay. You're going to get logged in and then you're going to click your, um, what well, you're going to just do what I tell you. You're going to get a big game combo. You're, I would not pick out the, the elk, oh, the elk only combo. Like you need to pick the big game combo and plan on having a deer and an elk tag in your pocket. Just trust me. You have better odds. Of